today I have a review for you on these new L'Oreal Le Matte crayons. These recently came out in the drugstores, specifically in the United States. I don't think that they're here in Canada yet, but I know that they are brand new in the drugstores. I picked them up recently when I was in Seattle and Portland. I was really interested to try these because last year they released a few colors of these. I don't know if they were like the exact colors of these ones, as well as some of the other Lilac ones, and I was really interested to try those when they came out last year but I wasn't able to get my hands on them. I don't think they ever made their way to the Canadian drugstore so I wasn't able to pick them up but when I saw that they released these I think they're in their permanent line. I was definitely interested to try them just because those ones that were released last year were really hyped up. So L'Oreal released five shades in the Le Matte and as well as five shades in the Lilac. Um, today I'm only doing a review on the Le Matte. If you want to see my review on the Lilac I will link it below. It will probably come in a few days but I thought I would review them in separate videos just because swatching 10 items and talking about two different formulas can sometimes be a really long video. So I wanted to make sure to keep this kind of short and not make it super long. So as I said, there's five shades. They retailed for either $8.99 or $9.99 depending where you found them. I actually found all of mine at Ulta when they were having 40% off of L'Oreal. So I thought that was a really good deal. And sometimes you will be able to find them on sale. I don't know if initially when they're being released if you'll be able to find them on sale. But I know that eventually every everything in the drugstore goes on sale. $8.99 and $9.99 in the drugstores is a little bit more expensive. It's a little bit more expensive than I want to be paying for these because essentially this was $50 and when you think about it uh, that's sort of similar to more higher end prices but I mean I guess you are getting five different colors. I'm thinking that the drugstores are starting to be a little bit more expensive these days and especially with the dollar conversion when I bought them in the states and then converting it to Canadian it made it a little bit more expensive but I was really interested to review these for you guys and just check out all the hype. These all have really cute names. They all have something to do with sort of being matte so it's really cute that they sort of took a play on that or I guess had some like puns about it but I thought that was really cute and it really like sparked my interest once I read all these names and I'm always a sucker for like cute named uh, makeup items. So the first color is called matte for me. It's like a mid-tone bright pink color. It's not like super hot pink but it's still very mid-tone very blue base bright pink. The next color is called She's So Matte and it's probably the most nude out of all five colors. It's more on the pinky or like a little bit of a deeper pink nude without being too sort of concealer lips but it's a really pretty sort of my lips but better color. The next one is called Game Set Matte. This is the lightest pink out of all five colors. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it. It's almost like a shimmer that's undetectable until the lipstick is kind of like worn off and then you can kind of see like the glitter in it. But it is there so definitely keep that in mind. I didn't see any kind of shimmer in the other four but this one definitely had shimmer in it. It still is matte but it had those like glitter flecks in it. But it's a really pretty light pink. Again it's the lightest pink out of the entire five different colors. The next one is called Mad for Matte. This is the one red color out of all five of these. It's like a mid-tone neutral red. I feel like it definitely could pull more blue-based red depending on what kind of lip liner you wear underneath it, but it's a really pretty neutral red. And then the last one I have here is called Matter of Fact. This is like almost a deeper berry hot pink, almost on the purple undertones without being crazy purple. It's almost like a magenta color. If I could describe magenta, I would probably pick something like this color. Overall, I think that these are a really nice formula. They go on quite creamy, almost like a silicone feeling on your lips. They go on and they blend out really nicely. They go on really smoothly. And when you rub your lips together initially, they do have that sort of slip matte feel to them. But after about two minutes, they do dry down to almost a complete matte texture with without being overly drying. I felt like the texture was really nice. They are not an overly drying matte lipstick, so they don't dry out your lips if you wear them for a long period of time, but that means they don't have the longest staying power. I mean, they stay a decent amount of time, something like a typical matte lipstick, but nothing that's going to be extremely long lasting or extremely long wearing, especially if you're going to be eating or drinking or doing a lot of talking or rubbing your lips together. They will eventually sort of move around and come off. 
I think that if you can find these on sale, it's a really good drugstore lip crayon option. I love the tip applicator. They have sort of like a beveled edge tip applicator and they are a lot thinner than those Revlon Color Burst Jumbo Lip Crayons or anything else that is sort of like a jumbo lip crayon. So I think that's really nice when you're going to be applying them. I'm a big fan of this size for a lip crayon. I think the shade range is a nice shade range. I'd be interested to see if they came out with more shades in the future just because the formula is really nice and the shade range isn't that broad with only five different shades. I think that just depending on sort of what kind of color you're looking for, there is kind of something for everyone. I wish there was a little bit more of a nude selection and maybe a really nice dark vampy one, but I think that the color selection is really nice. I would just keep in mind that that one pink one does have a little bit of sort of sparkle or shimmer in it without being overly shimmery. I hope you all enjoyed this review on these new L'Oreal Le Matte Lip Crayons. If you've tried these, definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe so you can see all my upcoming videos, including the new review that I will have on the sisters to these, the Lilac ones, and thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned.